Let's watch some news real quick, because apparently LA's on fire again. 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 Ireland's on fire. LA's now on fire. Makes you want to look at a map, huh? trapped on the freeway by those searing flames were forced to run for their lives they did but now they're going to have to pay the price those drivers say they feared for their lives at the height of the inferno and had no choice but to escape on foot and when the fire was finally put out they returned to find their cars had been towed and now they are being forced to pay to get them back KTLA's John ah! Spinoli alive and down ain't that some shit your shit catches fire, and then the government's like, hey, um, so, like, I have to get all your cars, so you gotta pay, like, like fair fucking price. It was expensive. You know, just imagine that. Just imagine that shit. Like, your, your, your livelihood is gone, and the government, where's my mention, sorry, and the government decides that they're going to, um, just is straight up, like, say, hey, you kind of owe us money. We, uh, we weren't prepared for y'all to try to run for your lives, so you're, you gotta pay for this, uh, you, you gotta pay for this. You have to pay for it. Like, we, we're not sitting here giving you free parking. Mm-mm. No, take that shit elsewhere. Sorry, I'm trying to make, like, some really vibrantness, and it's like, uh Spread this shit out. But yeah, hey, that's some shit. You, the place catches fire. They decided to tell all the cars. Why, I don't know. And, it, it, and in response to towing all of these vehicles, they're like, oh yeah, you gotta pay the fee. What fee? For us to get your car out the way. What they said. And it's embarrassing. Wouldn't you be embarrassed? I'd be fucking embarrassed. I would be absolutely fucking embarrassed. I'd be like, what the fuck is this nonsense right here? It's right in your reach. Mix on the paper, though. Mix on the paper. Mix. Something soothing about artwork, you know? But it, 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 isn't it tragic listening to that, though? It's fucking insane. This is like, oh, so... Just fuck us and everything we lost. Pay the tell fee. That's what they said. Down Los Angeles with that part of the story tonight, John. Hey, Sharon Micah, that's right. As we know, this fire has been such a trying ordeal for so many Angelinos. The victims who lost their livelihoods in the storage facility that was swallowed by flames, commuters, and tonight we are learning that people who were trapped on the 10 freeway Saturday night had no choice but to abandon their vehicles to escape the flames. The 10 freeway fire was so intense, it sent dozens of drivers running for safety. It was terrifying. 20-year-old Isaiah Stacy Sutton was one of them. He was on his way to his father's home early Sunday morning when flames and thick plumes of toxic smoke enveloped the interstate overpass at Almeda Street near downtown L.A. Flames were getting on the freeway, you know, from what I can hear and see, stuff was blowing up. A raging inferno off. beneath one of the nation's... God damn! Roads. I had no way of turning around from where my car wow, was. Wow, it looked like a whole a fucking people, volcano! You know, wow! I had a lot of people in front of me, so I'm trapped. I have I have nowhere to go, and all I know is that there are explosions, and it's a huge fire. He says he and other motorists had no choice but to take off on foot, not knowing if or when they'd get their vehicles back. People are money running for their lives. That's how. Oh, he'll that's get how, back with that's the how mm -hmm. crazy it was. Once out of harm's way, Sutton called his dad to pick him up. He says they repeatedly tried to ask authorities how and when they could get their car off the freeway, but were told to leave the area. We didn't aban abandon the vehicle. No one would let us get to the vehicle. You know what you understand, but I just think that they could have just released the vehicle. Plain and simple. CHP towed Sutton's car, but never told him. By Monday, the family managed to track it down, but not before... Did you hear that? These people were not even allowed to go get their own property. The authorities just told them to leave. But then they towed the property instead of letting the people get it. That way they can get some money to cut. So that way they can cover the costs of all this shit happening is what it is. They towed all these cars, didn't let any of these civilians get it because they're desperate for money. So it's like, let's tow all the cars and force all these people to get money. Then we'll have enough money to cover the cost of all of this damage. 
Because apparently that's the only way we're getting people to uh, take care of this world now. We have to force them. Because no one wants to volunteer. That's what I heard. So everyone's getting voluntold. College. And it's the fact he's wearing uh, like what I assume is a military colored shirt. Like I'm uh, like I did I just now peeped that. It's just like that's a tan shirt, motherfucker. And your hair almost looks like it was a high and tight. It almost looks like it used to be a high and tight right in there, right in that cut right there. Mm. Let me find out they targeted that. Like, let me find out. It makes sense that they do that shit. And it would make sense that he was so wanting his POV. His personal operating vehicles, we used to call it. But it's just like, let me find out that this was like a major thing for purposes. But then again, the West Coast really don't have a lot of um, military personnel on that side. The East Coast, oh, we're loaded with bases and shit. The West Coast, that's the vulnerable place. They tag over there. was forced to rent a car out of pocket. His insurance wouldn't cover the rental without knowing first where his vehicle was. After Are you serious? Oh, that's not a brown shirt. A rental, that's not a brown shirt. That's just a sweater. Damn. Thank you, phone, for correcting me. And says he spent more than $1,000 just trying to get his car back. That's a like damn to, shame. Of course, you know, CHP takes some responsibility. The insurance takes some responsibility. And, you know, but I'll figure all that out with, you know, the attorneys. All right, we did reach out to CHP, got a response late tonight. They say that they did not instruct any motorists to abandon their vehicles and take off on foot. They also say they only towed three cars near the scene of the fire on Saturday. Really? They say that anyone who has had to deal with this situation, having their vehicle towed, well, they should contact CHP's central office. We'll put that information on our website, ktla.com. We're live along the 10 freeway in downtown L.A. I'm John Finolio. You hear that nonsense? We didn't tow any cars. We just got three. Sure you did. Sure you did. Sure. I guess we're all just supposed to believe that, right? I assume we're supposed to believe that. Because that's what they're trying to make us believe, right? Sounds believable, I reckon. This is not coming out a perfect orange like I want it to. I need it deeper, deeper. I can't wait to get paid so I can get some more yellow because like yellow is the color I definitely use. Anyway, let's go look at the comments real quick. Let's see. Hmm. What are people saying? Let me just tap some of this red in here. Okay. The city should give back the vehicles without charging the owners. The mayor should step up and do the right thing. This was an unusual circumstance. That's not... C-I-R-C-U-M-S-T-A-N-C-E? I'm glad I knew what that word was, but still... Words, 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 but that's why letters are, impor are important. Okay, someone correct. Common regards to you and yours. I'm liking that because it like it, like you just fucked with my dyslexia. How did the government allow this to happen? Give them the cars back. How did the tow trucks even get up there afterwards instead of officials trying to connect people with their cars? Well, like I was saying, this is how they're gonna pay for the damages. This is how, this is how, they, like that's how they're gonna pay for it. They they more than likely they made people abandon it, and now they're forcing tows in order to get people to pay into it. Is what happened. That's what happened. And that's how they're going to probably pay for the extra for the damages. Because there's no money. Banks keep losing deposits out of nowhere. There's no money. There's not even enough money to take care of, like, um, all this shit now. You know what I mean? Like, nobody cares a fuck. None of these people give a fuck. They really don't. Because if they did, this wouldn't have even been an issue. But that's just me thinking. You know what I mean? Like, it, 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 it's one of those things where it's like, um, how are you surprised that they didn't take advantage of this any sooner? That's my question. Okay, I've never seen orange. Perfect. This is gonna be like the most Jake-ass looking lantern. 
but it'd be cute. This is ridiculous. They didn't park illegally. Technically, they did. Because none of those were parking spots, were they? Probably not. So they're going to use that excuse. That's what they do. They'd be like, well, technically, we didn't list them as a legal parking spot. So you, you were illegally parked. That's what they're going to tend to say. Let's see what else. I do just do not understand where the overlords' mind are. Well, maybe you should talk to the overman. There are so many variables that people on that bridge couldn't have known, which absolutely necessitated an immediate evacuation. But see, that's the thing. We're moving from the big O notification to the big O notation. So all those variables are what counts, not the constant. Who cares if the volcano or the streets of LA were burning because of bottle kids or some shit. The variables are what's important. Oh, you left it for this reason? Okay, well, it's still illegal. You left it for that reason? It's still illegal. You left it for this reason? It's still illegal. They're not worried about the constant, which is why all these people are gathered here. They're looking for an excuse that they can use for each and every person to justify what they're going to do next. Pay attention. Major explosion, collapse of bridge, toxic fumes, vehicles on the bridge catching fire. It just makes no sense whatsoever. Well, it does. Um, Sydney needs to recognize that it did a terrible job of getting the word out to the public to retrieve their cars. How sad Los Angeles has fallen apart. I don't know, man. Have you seen how Los Angeles has been? You know the crime in Los Angeles? Los Angeles like, makes Detroit look like fucking Maine. Where the biggest problem is avoiding the threesome with people. Like, and I heard this from someone who was from Maine who looked absolutely disgusting, and I doubt anybody wanted to have a threesome with them. Um, but I don't know. It's just, eh. Cal trends need to be re to reimburse this guy. The fact that there were large quantities of combustibles under the freeway was their responsibility. If car trends doesn't want to assume responsibility, then how about not leasing the space? The cost of this inferno and lost wages time dwarfs lost wages slash time dwarfs what Caltrans made in monthly leases. My thing is, you know, what if all those cars caught fire? And they decide to find all of these people who they told to abandon the cars that are now making them tow for being a environmental hazard. Anyone ever thought about that? What if they try to cite these people as being the fault if there was an explosion? You know, like, you left your car there. Well, you guys told me, but you left your car there. But you told us, it doesn't matter. You left your car there. You're still responsible. You shouldn't have been here at this time. You know, they could easily do that to people, which I'm surprised they haven't tried doing. But that, I'm not, I, like... Like, are we getting to the point now where we're going to start understanding that, like, everything's going to start working against us? All of the supposed freedom we have, all these supposed rights, we now have the right to follow the rules. That's what... You need to learn how loopholes work, because at this point, they want everybody following rules, no matter the variables that come up. They're going to be paying attention to the variables. They don't give a fuck if you're suffering like everybody else. What is your variable? What's your condition? Is it something that's actually worth us actually giving consideration to? Or is this just another thing that you as a human came up with? Talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. Oh my god, this is not blending the way I wanted to, but that's okay. Cause, uh... Well, it's a light source, so... Still. Oh, look at that pool. Well, this is the first wash, so. And still, it, it's just one of those things where it, it's like, do pe are people paying attention to what's actually happening? And why are you sitting here expecting the government to do anything about it if they're the ones who are doing it? You know, like, all this shit that's been going on in the other world, worlds, and, uh, and, well, worlds, but yeah, basically worlds, the rest of the world... What makes you think that we were going to be safe from this shit forever? They're going to find ways. Like, we are the most viable source of energy, of fuel, for uh, a lot of these governments. And we have all have participated in the insanity. And then it's just like, everyone thinks that, um... Nothing's going to come from this. And this is like, there's going to be a lot coming from this, motherfuckers. Like, don't get it twisted.
So we must wait for the government official slash LE to tell us to flee from a fire before we flee. Interesting. Well, I don't know. They were keeping people down in Hawaii from fleeing for their lives. In case anybody forgets that with, with, with the whole shit down there. Like, people were trying to leave. People were trying to get assistance, and the government stopped them from all of that. But they let the tourists do whatever. People couldn't even stay in hotels if they were a resident because they didn't have a reservation. But vacationers could go stay in safe places. They were protected. People who were there just for a fun time were protected. The people who actually lived there, mm -mm. You're part of the zoo. What makes you think that you deserve any sort of fucking protection here? The towing companies are evil. Sure, that's they own the evils. Is that even self injury? What what's wrong with these opportunists? Um, they are just now opportuning. They it, it's a desperate grab. Sue the city for allowing a hazardous condition to to exist, which caused this to happen. Well, then, like, who's gonna like pay the citizens back? Like, let's be clear. This place is already damaged and fucked up, right? If they're if they're going to use the towing company, because this is what I'm assuming they're doing, because this is the only way it makes sense. If they're using the towing company to get money out of the citizens, who is going to pay for what happened to the citizens other than the citizens? Because they're the ones that pay in the city, right? They're already, like, nicking them in the ass um, with this towing shit. If you sue them, who's going to pay that? The guy, like, the banks are taking money out left and right trying to protect themselves. Um, a lot of places aren't even, like, being considerate of people. Um, hell, some, it's even hard to get a job nowadays. It's hard to get a, a home nowadays, apparently. A lot of shit's all fucked up. And it's like, what, do you, what, what money do you expect the city to provide? Where's that money going to go? To the citizens? Because you know for a damn fact they're not going to pass out checks to everybody. They're going to keep that in reserve. Be like, alright, well, you do, this will be a community fund. And we'll use this for the city. And we'll fix up the thing that we fucked up. Because that's normally what fucking happens. What's the point of suing the city when the city's going to get the money? That's not going to the people. We all know this. Authorities are discriminating during and after all the past fires flooding California. People were helped, not charged them for their inconveniences slash lo losses. They should see Los Angeles government for asking them to pay to get their cars, given that their lives were endangered. Where did the common sense go? Mm. I live in North LA. I think the city should pay for them. With what money? Mm. I mean, there is an alternative solution to leaving your car, your vehicle on the freeway. It's uncomfortable. No one will acknowledge your responsibility. It sucks, but also there was no injuries. It was just scary. A bit of thinking typically gets you on the upside of these situations. You don't have to agree with me. Of course, once everyone loses composure and start running, it's all out the door, right? Mm. Freeways areas need to be kept clear. Now, the world knows that you can very effectively sabotage a, sea a freeway in this way. Homeless need to be sent to asylums where they can live out their lives in the safe... Uh, really? Was that a homeless person that started this shit? Because I don't know. Let's look at another one. Ooh. Let's see. This one was six hours ago. Let's see. Ooh, right, can like, I kind of want to look at that? That'd be interesting. Let's see. I guess we'll look at the one I just saw. What? Four suicides in two days reported LA Sheriff's Park. Okay. What? Wait, hold on a minute. What? Hold on. Continuing our team coverage, Fox 11's Hal Eisner joins us live in studio with more on these air spaces, like the one the fire occurred. And the big question, how is this allowed to be that way for so long? And this there one's is so quiet. History. You may have noticed people storing things under our freeways, but until this intense fire early Saturday morning, you might not have what realized... What the fuck is all of that? Warehouses. What the fuck was all of that? Hold on. What is that? Those are our pallets? That is a... Wow! Wow! Wow!
Now they're saying it's likely arson from yesterday, but it's like, the, 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 like who's responsible for it being an arson? Who's responsible for the flames of hell arriving in L.A.? California. Oh, DTL Labs is okay. We're dabs. Love. This is like many warehouses are leased by the state of California. Well, we're in, we're in litigation. We're going to court on this. The governor Shout out to the sign language chick to write out them gang signs. To lease the space under this part of the 10 freeway for storage. The governor said that uh, among the violations... The lease has expired. We believe they've subleased the space to multiple sublease, uh, with multiple subleases. The fire chewed away at cars, wooden pallets, and other things stored there as part of the state's airspace program. The governor alluded to various alleged violations involving the leasee. But are there policies that have to deal with flammable materials in these airspace rentals? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so these would have been the violations. This dude looks way too chill like an alien. Also, why has he got a polar bear on his shirt when everybody else has got like little emblems on their tops? Is that not weird to me? Why is there a bear? Why is it a bear? Why does he look so chill? There's a whole fire. People have, uh, lives have been violated. And this dude this is the most chill slick back I've ever seen. I'm like a pimp named slick back, but without the curls. A pimp named straight back. That's what his name is. Or other violations. These airspaces are like closet areas under the freeways. They generate money for the state's highway fund and mm -hmm. mass transportation programs. Mm -hmm. In the 1980s, according to the LA Times, there were 380 active airspace leases on the California freeway system. 450 additional sites that potentially could have been used. Leases were generally 55 years with no property taxes. At the time, the state was drawing $6 million. So let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. LA's been putting shit under their goddamn highways. Like, I used to hide random stuff under my bed when I was 12. You, or have that, like, you know that one drawer you have in your house where it just got random shit in it? That's that's LA's freeways, apparently. That That's what's going on in, in like, LA right now. That's great. And annual revenue, according to the Times, $2 million in the LA area. Mm -hmm. How impactful will it be if you didn't do that? I mean, how significant are the funds that come from these leases? Uh, again, that's all things that we'll be assessing over the next several days. This, this is not, this, it's not inconsequential. They got the black man saying, like, oh, we'll let you know. We'll let you know. But it's this dude telling everything. It is just like, I don't understand this. Even though the last time I was like, oh my God, it's him again. Like, I just, like, this is all, like. What you're talking about is, 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 this, it's not inconsequential. We'll be assessing over the next several days. This is not. This it's not inconsequential. What you're talking about is 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 practice that exists not only across this country. I was just look at all that shit. No, not all across the country. West Virginia doesn't look anything like this. Like we got yards and shit. We could throw that shit. Like we like West Virginia. West Virginia got plenty of land to be hiding that shit everywhere. But we wouldn't be putting it anywhere where people could fucking see it. Our state will fucking find you. <laughs> Let us find out you got a vehicle that could have been done something with. Oh, shit. Steve Ir it's Steve Irwin Day? God bless Steve Irwin. The crocodile hunter was taken out by a fucking stingray. I'll never... that The, the irony of the fucking universe and the jokes that they play. I swear to God. I swear. Anyway, let's get back to that. But still, it's like, look at all of that. Look at all the buses. You couldn't, like, refurbish all of that metal and shit into something else? It, like, why does it seem like we can produce things and they last a really long fucking time? But we don't use them. Like, why don't we, like, re what happened to recycling shit? Are we, are we incapable of recycling, re recycling metals or... Like, I'm, I'm just confused why the, we have... So much shit. We are hoarders in this country. And it's all we all hoard shit. We don't fucking need. And this is LA's secret fucking closet where they throw their fucking shit. But now it's like cost so many people so much and it's like, God damn, dude. Like, holy shit, what are y'all doing in your neck of the woods? See, like at least in a red state, I understand like there's a limit to the ignorance I can gather. Cause we're all poor and we can't have this shit. They're not so much poor. 
And look at all this shit they got. And then it just caught fire because they didn't manage it. That's that's terrible. It's terrible. Just overseas around the globe. Uh, and uh, and so uh, clearly it's this, this circumstance requires uh, a sober reflection of those practices. The governor also pointed out that some looked at these airspaces as possible solutions for the Look unhappy. at all of that. The only time I've ever seen something this fucking clustered was when I was overseas in Afghanistan. This literally looks like Afghanistan to me now. Like, the more I'm looking at it, it's worse. Like, is there any, like, howitzers or... No, those those weren't what were those were called. Howitzers are a fucking munition. Um, I can't remember what the name of those, uh, those fucking little, like, um... They're, like, they're little forklifts. And they got a rotator. Like, you could turn it with a wheel and just a little thing in the bobber. It's got, like, a, three wheels, one in the back where it, like, it turns in a 360 degree for you. I can't remember what the fuck them little things are called now. We drove the 6Ks, well, there was a 4K, a 6K, the 10K, and then there were the little, like, tiny ones, which we absolutely adore. Oh, we love them. We borrowed them motherfuckers from the British all the time. We did so many drug deals with the British, and they're not little world drug deals. It's literally like, um, hey, I'll give you some coffee for the waterproof socks. Shit like that. We'll let you borrow our equipment if you can get us some, like, Gatorade. Shit like that. That's what we would call drug deals. There was, like, somehow everyone was switching Kevlars and, like, fucking IOTVs. Being like, I own a TV too. And shit like that. Fucking clowns and shit, man. But this looks just like Afghanistan to me. I'm surprised there isn't, like, 50 people in one pickup. <laughs> driving down the road. You know, I'm surprised there ain't 50 motherfuckers in one fucking small-ass Toyota pickup. What looks like a Toyota, but it's literally called a Raptor. Uh, right? That's what some of the automobiles I remember, like a Raptor. I'm surprised I'm not seeing 50 motherfuckers driving on the interstate. Like, a six on the goddamn road right fucking now. Because this looks just like Afghanistan to me. Holy shit. They want, America's about to be a shithole country. Good job, y'all. Good job. There's been a lot of desire for cities and counties to actually get air rights from Caltran to build structures, to build homes. Look at that to trash! Ah! Oh, there's probably fuel in all those cars! Oh my god! The tires! They'll melt! They'll stick a hole in the goddamn car! Are you fucking sick? Are you fucking sick? What the fuck are they thinking? What the fuck are they doing? These are all... We grew up with lies. They taught me to be afraid of fucking quicksand but not trash. Are you fucking shitting me? We are a shithole country. Look at all of this garbage. Jordan Peterson said clean your room. LA, clean your fucking... What is this? You won't let the homeless sit on the street, but you, I guarantee you won't let them utilize this shit either. What the fuck are you all... What is this? I need to go up here. I need to go up here. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Y'all. I just went and, and like, it got the last cigarette. In my possession. I haven't had one of these since February. I promised myself I'd smoke this on the day I was gonna die. Today is not that day. I was really thinking about it. I was just like, do I need a cigarette to look... look. <laughs> and then they want to suspect arson. Okay. Almost communities. Look at all of that. What? What is that? What is that? I almost thought that said as below. <laughs> I almost thought that said as below. It's like you right, motherfucker, as below, because it's as above, and that's why it's a goddamn play. Praise the goddamn Lord. Look at this nonsense. It's like, is this is what everybody is? Is this why people in West Virginia are always fucking sick? Because there has to be something wrong with this? Because in California, apparently their problem is keeping up their fucking room. Oh my god. Oh, 
is that what they taste like? Wow. I'm gonna fucking die today. I'm gonna fucking die today. This is insane. Some of our issues of poverty. A short time ago, I spoke with Assemblyman Miguel Santiago, who, who does think there needs to be a review of this program, as does the governor and other state officials. But, you know, if, if you notice the video under the freeway is a Sky Fox shot. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff under there. That last shot, there were transmissions and all yeah. kinds of yeah! stuff there. And you got to wonder who's looking at that, who's monitoring that, and who's taking care of it. Caltrans is supposed to. And how, because a lot of people say... People drive past this every day. This is like happening right in front of our eyes. Right. And yet this is allowed. That particular spot was allowed. They know they were Let's see where you're saying it. it's an arson. Was right there. And at, at today's... I want to hear this. How is it an arson? Uh, was it the government? Because that would make a lot of fucking Carolina, sense. Uh, now to the Los Angeles Why is everyone area. so I want goddamn to put up some low. of these aerials that our Sky Fox captured uh, earlier this afternoon, uh, we brought you the news over the weekend. You'll remember that that major highway near downtown Los Angeles, well, it was closed in both directions on Saturday after a fire rampaged through storage lots underneath it. The fire look at all that kindling. towering flames into the night. Look at, look at all that kindling. Mm -mm. That's Sky early on Saturday morning. And then daybreak revealed twisted guardrails and blackened chipped concrete at the I-10 overpass in this industrial zone there. The California Department of Transportation, well, they sent personnel to inspect the highway. It, detours uh, are and were established to kind of ease some of that snarled highway traffic over the weekend. I-10, it runs east-west. It was closed near downtown Los Angeles for at least 24 hours into Sunday. Remember, everyone has been asking themselves, asking officials there, well, what was the cause? Look at his eyes! What the fuck is wrong with his eyes? I swear to God, if you want to know if you're dealing with the jester that's chasing you behind or not, pay attention to someone's eyes because there's always something wrong with their fucking eyeballs. A dead giveaway is like one is looking at you or worse, if they're looking in weird fucking directions. The eyes are never... Where they're supposed to be. That's how you know that the jester's got a fucking person. So that's how you know that they're fucking corrupted in this corruption and shit. The jester got their soul. But it, but if you read that book I told you about, you would already fucking know this shit. And I ain't explaining it any further. Because I ain't trying to deal with that motherfucker for a long time. <clears throat> It'll happen again. But not right now. Of the fire. The but cause of the fire eyes. was not known throughout the weekend, uh, but it seems like now we know. Uh, officials there in Los Angeles Why are, you blinking? are holding a press conference as we speak. California Governor Gavin Newsom was there, and, and he just what said this. Marla Tellez at Fox 11 tweeting out some of these comments. She tweets this that arson appears to be the likely ignition of this fire. Governor Newsom says the fire that has led to the I 10 freeway shutdown was intentionally set. No suspects have been identified, and investigators are talking to witnesses. The freeway... How the fuck would they even know that? Anything could have been a fucking... It, it done it. it. Said intentionally. Yeah, the people who put all that shit down there, they should be charged. They're the ones who did it, but okay. Remains shut down indefinitely. Now, what, 48 hours, more than 48 hours after? Marla goes on to say they're still determining if the freeway will be repaired or replaced because the fire was so intense that its structural integrity <laughs> has been called into question at the moment. So oh, uh, in the meantime, we do want to listen in uh, to some of these California officials. Mayor Bass of Los Angeles is there. Like I said, California Governor Newsom is there saying that arson is likely the cause now miraculously no one was injured there were no fatalities in this fire over the weekend let's go out there to los angeles with the latest partners that also have oversight and ultimate jurisdiction there's an actual manual as it relates to what's appropriate and inappropriate to store on these facilities what was legally afforded this lessee and recall they have an unlawful attainder for a reason, was the storage, open storage, broadly defined, of non-flammable
flammable materials, non-explosive materials, and vehicles, mm -hmm. operating vehicles. Yeah. We saw those vehicles, and we certainly saw a lot of pallets and a lot of open storage. But again, there were multiple subleases, and they were out of compliance. They did not get permission from the state. Again, part of the unlawful detainer and the reason uh, we are going to court in January and February. But across what? the board, we're looking at all of these other airspace leases, and uh -huh. you can imagine they're plentiful. You asked yesterday, where does the money go? It goes to public transit. All Nick, you have almost like 400. I'm like, sorry, you're not black. Like, your dude's back. I'll talk to him. Nigga, your boss got like almost 400 rented spaces with the same kind of shit. Where's the money go? The public transit. Is that really what the fuck is needed right now? You know, I, I just sit here and it's just like, this is why we need the, the, the decenter. Not men. Not even women. But people who apparently believe their bullshit. I, that's what I gotta say about that. We need to get rid of these people who believe in their bullshit because it's just too much. I can't. I cannot. I can't. All the money that comes in goes to the public transit accounts, goes back into the communities being served. So it's an important source of revenue for those that oh, want to disband like the, the practice fully. That also has to be considered, but obviously the magnitude of this crisis suggests a sober review and reflective review of the lease terms, our relationship to the federal highway, and the current manual that is... Can someone please explain to me why he keeps saying sober? Because this is a whole different video, and he mentioned sober here too. Was someone drunk? Was there an official who was drunk or something when this happened? Like, what? What? what is this whole uh, sober shit here? Because I'm a little bit lost in the sauce on why he keeps repeating that. As if that that's going to, like, fix anything. You know what I mean? Because it's just like, what do you mean? Sober. Um, sober would imply someone did something when they were drinking, wouldn't it? You know, I just got questions, comments, and concerns, and it's just like, hmm, he talks too much. He talks too much, I think. I think he talks too much, and he's not paying attention to what he's saying. The national framework of best practices in this space. This is not unique to California. This exists across this country and, of course, around the rest of the globe. Number three or four, uh, it is important, the mayor will reinforce this, that we continue to do the work to clean up encampments in and around these locations for no other reason than the human toll and the human cost. I'll let the mayor speak more about So, we gotta call the homeless because we're blaming the homeless? For Are you fucking for real? The homeless didn't put all that shit there and even if they did catch it on fire? I don't think that's really a reason to sit there and be like, oh, we need to call... What the fuck is... Are we saying that the drunk homeless did it? Fucking clown. As I said yesterday, and I'll remind you again today, three years ago, and you see members of the legislature here, there wasn't one dollar that went in from the state of California to support locals and partnerships to clean up the campus. Not one dollar three years ago. We did a $50 million pilot program, was oversubscribed, and working in partnership with the legislature, three quarters of a billion dollars has been set aside for encampment resolution grants. I referenced yesterday 3,200. I was wrong. 3,200 turns out not to be the number of Caltrans encampments that have been cleaned. It's 3,275. That's not enough. But 231 of them were cleaned up within a two mile radius of this site. Again, it's not enough. The reason we were out here in August of last year, literally right on this site cleaning up, was we recognized this is a hot spot and we have more work to do in that space. We recognize that responsibility and we recognize the clarity. So let's blame the homeless. It's the homeless fault. They must have been drinking and they probably caught something on fire with their liquor and shit. It was obviously the homeless that set fire to this shit. There's no way this fire would have came up 
any other way. Also, that's a 10K back there. That's a 10K forklift. That's a 10K for anyone who wants to know. Because I know my forklift, so that's a 10K. I bet you I can get in that motherfucker and drive out in the interstate 25 miles an hour because that's as fast as most of them go. At least the ones that I used in Afghanistan. But still, that's a 10K. You can lift 10,000 pounds. Mind you, don't be stressing it, though. Lift less than that because if you lift that weight or more, the back wheels will start lifting back on you and then, like, you might wreck the shit. And then she almost had me do that. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that. It's terrifying. And then, and then like, and that was the worst part. They were a transport at November 88. Or 88 November. And it was just like, what the fuck? Why are you telling me? I'm an 89 Bravo. Why the fuck are you telling me how to drive a forklift when, you don't even, when you're not even authorized to be working one? Like, this NCA was so fucking worthless. They were went from working on the field to basically being a janitor doing, like, fuzzy patch shit. And it was just like, you're useless. That's why your hair is falling out. I was so happy that she was looking like she had mange with her hair falling out. Mm hmm ...of this moment to continue to prioritize, even if this turns out to be arson, as it's suggested to be, and not an accident associated with any encampment that does not obviate the concerns around subsequent fires and general issues of life and safety. So even if it wasn't a homeless person from an encampment who did it, we're still going to say it's them anyway and get rid of them some more. Like, do you not understand? So you got all this room for all this shit that could easily catch fire and cause all this fucking damage, but you're not going to make that a home for the homeless? You know, there are private investors in, in the prison system. They could easily lay, lay, make shit like that here under these underpasses and make them home for people and make it easier for people not to be living on the street, especially since it's going to be a bad fucking winter this year. And instead, you're worried about taking more shit away from people who have nothing at all. And it's just like, hmm. And then you're going to make the taxpayer pay for it by towing all of their cars in order to pay for this shit. But I'm supposed to believe it was a homeless person, not someone who knew what they were... Okay. Okay. ...associated with encampments throughout Los Angeles and throughout the state of California. So that's the broad strokes overview. We set up a command center 24-7. We'll be setting up websites for more transparency in this space. Uh, in the Q&A, you'll invariably ask me, and I'll be happy to answer. Mm -hmm. uh, timelines. But until then, let me invite up the most important person up here with respect to myself and others, and that's your mayor who's been doing an outstanding job starting at 6 a.m. this morning um, as people were waking up to make sure that we're addressing the immediacy of concern, and that's logistics, traffic, and challenges that all Angelinos are facing in real time. Uh, with that, it's my honor, our great partner, Mayor Bass. Good Fuck afternoon, you, little everyone. Girl. Let me first and foremost thank the governor. The governor and his team have been with us side by side. I like her hair, we though. have been joined together through this crisis, and I know and I have full confidence with his leadership and the support of our state legislators who are here Senator Maria Elena Durazo, Assemblymember Joan Sawyer, and in a minute I'll introduce our supervisor that we are joined at the hip and we will make sure that we get through this crisis. This sounds like some villain knows, shit, don't we it? Have been like, we're through to do crises this before. Just a couple of months ago, we were here preparing for what we thought was going to be a hurricane. What happened was no, our there city whole came together now. united. Fuck a hurricane. And if any other time we need to be united, it is right now. We need to make sure that as Angelinos, we never ever turn on each other. So I want to reiterate what the governor said. Mind you, the crime in Los Angeles is just astonishing, but okay. We know that the origin of this is arson. We do not know other information. There is no reason to assume that the origin of this fire or the reason this fire happened was because there were unhoused individuals nearby. I want you to know that we are working urgently to address this crisis. On Saturday, yeah, we activated that. our emergency operations reason to assume that the origin of this fire or the reason this fire happened was because there were unhoused individuals nearby with the encamp okay whatever i want you to That's know what that said. we are working urgently to address this crisis 
On Saturday, we activated our emergency operations center to coordinate a response. I've been in touch with our federal and, of course, our state partners. I want you to know that the White House Secretary Buttigieg called immediately. As the governor said, the Federal Highway Administration was here. The administration has made it clear that they are ready to do mm -hmm. whatever is necessary to get Los Angeles whole again. We're making sure that Angelinos are informed. Last night, we sent a wireless emergency Look at all alert that to ensure that all Angelinos would be able to plan ahead and mitigate risk on their commutes. Over 300,000 people travel through this freeway every single day. We've urged Angelinos to stay on the freeways, not get off onto the side streets because the side streets cannot withstand 300,000 people. To pay attention to your Don't get on the streets that are actually supported by the fucking earth. Stay on the ones that are suspended in the air. These fucking birds. Like, I'll, I'll just chirp it and give it all these illusions and shit. Like, why the fuck would you not take the side roads when you know that there's shit that would be on fire? That's the weirdest fuck. Why would I? Like, that's weird. Maybe they'll go ahead and do it. Hopefully this doesn't happen again. But that's a weird thing to tell people after something caught fire. Keep using these highways because, like, the side roads and all of the roads that are supported by the goddamn earth that we built upon it, they can't support y'all. We, we need you to get on the suspended concrete that could easily get out on fire or collapse from all the way and all. I'm, I'm, like, I'm from the East Coast, so maybe I just don't get it. You know, I'm an East Coast bitch, so I'm sorry. Maybe I'm knocking California too much. I, I, did, I wasn't a fan of California when I visited there twice. Both times were not cool for... I didn't like them both times, so... But it's whatever. Apps, whether it's Google, um, Google Alert, or ways to pay attention because we are giving that information to those apps. We're also posting on Nextdoor, but to reach communities directly. But you can also visit emergency at emergency.lacity.gov. Losing this stretch of the 10 freeway will take time and money from people's lives and businesses. For commuters, we're still exploring ways to open up faster and more effective routes mm -hmm. of communication. We would also encourage people to take Metro. Metro has increased the number of trains and buses available and have alternative routes for you to take. Whether you are talking about traveling to and from work or your child care plans and the flow of goods of commerce, we know that this will disrupt the lives of Angelinos, but we will not settle for anything oh, other than a know. rebuilding or repairing plan that prioritizes safety and gets our freeways up and running. So we're taking a three-prong approach. Number one, ensuring that we are coordinating a comprehensive plan from the city's traffic center and our emergency operations center to address the traffic impacts of this closure with our local, state, and federal partners. Number two, we're getting the 10 freeway up and running as fast as possible and bringing accountability to that effort. And finally, providing updated and detailed information to ensure that our communities and commuters are well informed every step of the way. I assure you that we will not stop until the job is done. To Angelinos, the most mm -hmm. important thing you can do is stay informed about the commutes. Unless you have to enter downtown, stay on the freeways. If it is possible, telecommute. We all learned during the pandemic, we don't have to be in the workplace every day. If you have to go into surface streets, make sure you visit, again, emergency.lacity.gov to be aware of the surface street routes that we have established to move traffic in the best way. Again, Angelinos, in this time of crisis, in this time of emergency, we need to pull together. Being stuck in traffic is something that makes Angelinos angry. 
we will do everything we can and work 24 hours a day until we settle this. But this is a time to turn toward each other, not against each other. Where Your highways are on fire. I don't know, man. You are housed or whether you are unhoused. We can do this. We have been here before, and I know that we will be able to get past this, and we will get past this united. Let me now bring up the supervisor from this area, Supervisor Hilda Solis. Thank you, Mayor Bass, and thank you to our governor and to the elected officials, and especially to our public safety and firefighters that were really the ones that we need to consider because they put their lives out there every single day, and this was no different. I happen to represent this area, but I am working in partnership. Oh, All right, uh, Andrew Kraft back here. We're going to step away from this story. Uh, California officials there. You saw Mayor Bass. You saw Commissioner. That's Commissioner Hilda Solis right there and Governor Newsom. Governor Newsom saying this was the result of arson. He declared a state of emergency. He directed the State Department of Transportation to, requ excuse me, to request assistance from the federal government uh, as well there. So we'll be speaking to some of our Fox 11 Los Angeles this reporters uh, in the 6 o'clock hour. We'll be speaking to Hal Eisner about where this investigation goes from here but as we speak this section of the i-10 freeway uh is no longer operating at the moment still closed indefinitely uh, and they really don't know whether they're gonna you know reopen it or whether it has to be replaced altogether entirely i want to put this tweet up here this is from secretary of transportation Pete mayor Buttigieg. Bass. he says i'm governor in contact Newsom. with mayor bass governor newsom and California federal elected officials about the closures on I-10 in Los Angeles caused by fire damage and the impact it's having on traffic. Our federal highways administrator will be in LA tomorrow and US Department of Transportation will help any way we can. So wanted to make- mm -hmm. Why is there an X? Oh yeah, cause like it's X now. It's not Twitter, it's X. Just like fucking stupid. Yeah, it's, um, mm, let's go to copies. Look how happy the politicians are to ab absolve themselves of responsibility. Right? It says you get them. Good puppy. Good puppy. Uh, yes, you have laws. Who's respo So who's responsible for enforcement? Them. Instead of smiling on camera, the mayor can do her job. I feel for the people in that area and the leaders that are really trying to do good in these trying times. I have to say the mayor cannot assume it was arson instead of an accident. Arson is a serious crime and has to be proven with evidence. It may very well be arson in the end, but as the mayor, you can't publicly make a statement like that. It's irresponsible. There's no translation. God damn it, Google. The repeated denials regarding unhoused individuals. Right! While admitting they don't know anything other than it was arson makes it obvious. They're motivated to deny it was the homeless and will never admit it, even if it was. My takeaway, it was probably the homeless. I don't think it was the homeless. I don't think it was the homeless. I think this was planned, because look at all that shit. Unhoused means homelessness is someone else's fault. In other words, they do not want you to turn on us. You must stand united with your incompetent leaders. Newsom blamed everything on the arsonist, but not himself. Doesn't sound like a random act. They knew what they were after. What a good politicians we have in California. It's good that they didn't blame on all the homeless people that were living there. They would never cause a fire like that. Are the homeless people causing fires? I really don't know. Hopefully Newsom learned from his recent training on the CCP how to ban arson. Homelessness is everywhere in our state. Though I do agree with you, some homeless people do not want to live in a shelter and do not want public assistance ever spending a long time on the streets. I think if we reopen state hospitals to get ones with mental issues, that would help a lot. Mm. So will anyone from the state or the county be fired? Wasn't someone wasn't doing their job with compliance? As for homeless encampments, been hearing that talk for like like this for thirty years. Very little gets done, and money disappears in the vastness of the whole called the capital in Sacramento.
Governor Newsom, homelessness, homeless people. He has million years fighting the homeless crisis, but not one homeless person has recovered help. Three bullet points. Three point bullet point is full of... Three point bullet point is full of homeless duty. But he started a 10-year plan back in 2008. Oof, okay, you got that. Once again, government news and contradicts himself again by saying arson appears to be a likely ignition of this fire. Then says, I-10 freeway shutdown was intentionally set. When did Gav Gavin Newsom become a fire investigator? Government Newsom do us all a favor and stick with politics and not arson and fire investigations. Please don't let him stick with politics. He's the worst governor who's ever had crime, homelessness, drugs, fire. He loves fires. Think of all the wire fires. He didn't put out before he almost recalled. I still can't believe he's government. That's a really good point. Like, what happened with all those fires back in the day? How hard is it for inspectors to notice violations of an open air storage? It should have been obvious just by looking at it. Did anybody look? If not, why not? Your tax money at work. And that's the thing. Ah, uh, uh, the endless lawlessness of California. Newsom and company should be investigating. Seriously, what does more money have to do with whomever set these fires? You need to find the people responsible for setting this fire, and more money isn't going to help stop these criminals. Yeah, but it will help pay for shit. Um... I've driven around these underpasses in Los Angeles. It's like a condo complex with two-story pallet houses. I saw guys on skill saws out on top of their pallet homes adding on more rooms. Not kidding. Freeloading with no property taxes. Oh, and then all the RVs parked alongside the freeways without wheels so their permanent and liable government property is okay with it. A complete free-for-all. LA looks like the slums. <laughs> racist. I'm not familiar with that area. All I know, all I know, I heard is highways are racist. That's fucking funny. Oh, what is it? I want to see what someone said to that. God damn it, YouTube. Yeah, and he took part in it. I agree. I think it's the politicians. I don't think it's the homeless. The homeless have been there, and they and, and like have they done shit like this before? I don't know. I'm not in L.A. But there you go. There you go. So that's what's been going on. I'm gonna go take a shower. And get ready to go watch a movie. The Marvel movies come out. A friend wants to take me out. It's just like, fine, I guess I'll go. So, But yeah, there we go, kids. Enjoy that.